Today's Gospel, Friday, May 6, is taken from St. John chapter 6, verses 52 to 59. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, Whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things he said while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faith food reflection is from Brother Wilfred Kasumbal of BEM. Ganon? Ew! Yuck! Kung ngayong panahon nangyari ang tagpo sa ating ebanghelyo, ganyan malamang ang tugod ng karamihan sa wika ng Panginoong Jesus. Can't really fault anyone for interpreting messages literally, especially when there is a lack of knowledge or a relationship with the source of the message. On the other hand, some messages are really meant to be literally interpreted. Today's gospel is rich in both. Literally eating human flesh and drinking human blood was at the very least scandalous and at worst sacrilegious for the Jews. They really only had the literal as their only interpretation. Yet today for us Catholics, during the Holy Eucharist, through the divine mystery of transubstantiation, we actually literally eat the body and drink the blood of Christ, our God, who is human. That thought always brings chills down my spine. The awesomeness, the magnitude, the height, the breadth, the depth of all creation, literally in my hands, in my body. What's more, partaking of the body and blood of Christ comes with a guarantee of eternal life with our good Father. Best still, this is made available to us anytime, every time, all the time. Now, that is literally the best deal of all time. Let us pray. May the body and blood of Christ bring eternal life to us who receive him. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.